Gaming smartphones are all the rage these days, but not everyone wants to buy a fancy and expensive gaming smartphone. Fortunately, there are some accessories that can really enhance your gaming experience on a smartphone. Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about today. Hey guys, I'm Akshay from vbomb.com and today I'll be showing you some of the best smartphone accessories for gamers. Trust me, you're going to love these. Well, let's start off with the most basic accessory that you're all going to need. Cases. These days, most smartphones come with a glass back and while they look premium, they get kind of slippery which kind of hampers the gaming experience. Well, that's where cases come in. Now, any case which offers a lot of grip should do, but we are showing you the solid suitcase here from Rhino Shield because these look good and offer a lot of grip, which just makes holding the phone while gaming a lot easier. What's even better is that cases from Rhino Shield offer military grade protection. So, even if you lose at PUBG, you can just throw your phone at the wall and not have to worry about it. By the way, Rhino Shield is the sponsor for this video, so a huge shout out to them, and to be honest, they make some really cool cases. I especially like the new modular cases. There's the Crash Guard NX bumper cases and the Mod NX cases which are totally customizable. You can change frame colors, back plates, rim colors and even button colors. Cool, right? Well, you can check out Rhino Shield cases from the link in the description below. I'm a huge PUBG mobile fan and I'm sure a lot of you are too. So I was looking for a pair of smartphone triggers to make my PUBG experience even better but if you look on Amazon you'll see that most of the triggers available have really poor ratings. Well we tried out quite a few of them and the best ones that we found are these triggers from RPM Euro that cost 400 rupees. Now these aren't perfect but they have worked fairly well on most phones. Setting these up is easy, you just edit the controls to set up your scope and fire buttons up top like this and place the triggers on the phone. That's it, now you can simply use the triggers to scope in on your enemies and fire at will. I've set the left trigger to fire and the right to scope because that's usually how I play but you can swap it or use the triggers for any other controls you might want. These triggers will also work in Fortnite or any other game that lets you customize the placement of the control button. It's pretty cool, right? Another really important accessory for gamers has to be a good pair of earphones. And with games like PUBG and Fortnite becoming more popular these days, it's always good to have a mic handy, especially if you like playing in squads. Well, the Plexstone Gaming earphones priced at around Rs 2000 are one of the best pair of earphones you can buy for smartphone gaming in a budget. And they bring a number of cool features as well. Not only do they fit really well in the ear, they also come with a dedicated mic on the left earphone. Plus, the mic is detachable, so you can pop it in when you're playing PUBG squads and remove it when you're playing solo or when you're playing something like Asphalt where the mic isn't really important. The sound quality on these earphones is pretty good and the mic is also great for gaming. I really like these earphones and they're not too expensive at around 2000 rupees. Plus you can even use these with the PC, PS4 or Xbox while gaming which makes them even more value for money. If you're someone who has always wanted to play smartphone games, especially racing games like Asphalt 9 with a full-sized controller, well the Amkit Evo gamepad is something you should definitely check out. The wireless gamepad priced at around Rs 2000 really adds to the smartphone gaming experience. Simply download the Amkit app, connect your phone to the gamepad and you're all set to play a bunch of fully supported games. I personally like using the gamepad for playing Asphalt 9 and as you can see, it's a lot of fun. Be it drifting, using the nitro or simply turning, it's just more fun on the gamepad. Plus it supports touch drive so it's good for noobs like me. The gamepad also supports a lot of other games including FPS games like Modern Combat 5. Personally, I find aiming to be hard with the joysticks but you may be a better gamer than I am so you should definitely give it a try. Anyway, I am pretty sure you are wondering if you can play PUBG with it. Well, the gamepad doesn't officially support PUBG Mobile but there are workarounds that you can use to get it working. However, keep in mind that there are reports that people are being banned from using such workarounds. So only try that if you are ready to take the risk. Personally, my phone is usually pretty well topped off when it comes to battery because I charge it quite often but if you are anything like Rupesh, your phone is usually hovering around 10% charge. And in that case, you know what a pain it is to play games with the usual charger connected, right? Well, take a look at this. This is a great charging cable for gamers. Yeah, this is a simple 90 degree USB-C cable priced at Rs 600 that makes it easier to play games while your phone charges. 
Since the cable is at an angle, you can comfortably hold the phone even while the charging cable is connected to it, making it a lot easier to have long sessions of PUBG Mobile and Asphalt 9 without having to endure the hassle of using a regular USB-C cable. Personally, I find this very useful when I'm spending my weekends on a PUBG Mobile grind and I think you'll find it useful too. Plus, it can charge your phones at up to 2.4 amperes, so even though it's not really super fast charging, it's still not slow. The displays on our smartphones might be getting bigger and better, but they can't really compare to a massive TV. So I won't blame you if you've always wanted to try out smartphone gaming on a TV. Well, you can play smartphone games on a TV by just mirroring the screen. You can use the Chromecast or the Fire TV Stick to simply mirror your smartphone using the Cast option on your Android smartphone and that's it. You can now enjoy your favorite Android games on a big screen. Plus the performance here isn't bad either. I was expecting major lags and frame drops, but it performs admirably well and you can enjoy games like Asphalt 9 on it. I mean, I played Asphalt 9 on the TV with the gamepad on and it was a decent experience. Yeah, there are some frame drops every now and then, but it's playable. Technically, you could play PUBG Mobile like this too, but even minor frame drops in PUBG can mean losing the match, so I would not recommend doing that. Well, those were the best smartphone accessories for gamers. I've added links to each one of them in the description down below, so check them out. Coming back to the accessories, I personally like the PUBG triggers and the Flexstone earphones the most, but what do you think? Which accessories are your favorite? Do let me know in the comments down below. Also, give this video a like and share it with your gamer friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.